The latest trend to hit southern Arizona, food halls. Think of a food court in the mall minus the shops. One of these alternative dining destinations is opening at the former American Meats Company on the southwest side. News 4 Tucson's Zach Briggs serves up the story. It's new at 5. From a prominent butcher shop to a food hall, it's about offering up the flavors of Tucson all in one place while keeping alive locally owned businesses. There's something extra special about taking an old building like this and bringing it back to life. The American Meat Company, a Tucson staple for 62 years, closed its doors in 2015. Guillermo Gallegos and crew now reviving the 8,000 square foot facility as the American Eat Company. You could call it a hub of multicultural cuisine, all family owned. You're not going to find any chains or anything like that here. Over the past decade, consumer buying habits have changed with restaurant sales surpassing grocery sales. That's according to retail expert Scott Hessel, who says the food hall concept is a growing trend which originated in Europe. I think it's a great development. It's a destination rather than like a food court at a mall that is something that you're doing while you're shopping. He estimates there will be 200 food halls across the United States by the end of 2019. As for Guillermo, he's just focused on cooking up a unique eating experience for everyone in the Old Pueblo. Born and raised here in Tucson, we understand what it takes you know, to start a business, run a business. It's an open concept where everybody can experience it together, see each other, feel each other. It's a true community space and that creates a great vibe. American Eat Company is certainly not the only ones in the local food hall industry. There's at least a couple other projects set to open up in the coming year. On the south side, I'm Zach Briggs, News for Tucson. The grand opening is tomorrow and you can find more information on our website, kvoa.com.